going on guys yami here back with another video and today we're going to be on blue heater and we're going to be speed running from level 1 all the way to level 24 in one video now if you guys don't know what blue heater is it is an rpg game based off of sword art online i think and it's a lot like sword burst 2 now this game is still in alpha so there isn't that much progression to do but i'm still going to get from level 1 to 24 for you guys so without further ado let's get into it all right so we got to make our character and i'll skip to that part when i'm done in three two one and here we are and before you guys say anything i only chose this race because of the stats that it gives but anyways the first thing you want to do is actually party people that are near you because you can share xp and drops and money with them if you party with them so for example this guy banana press r players and look for him and then we're just going to party him see look he joined our party i'm going to party with this guy too his name is uh here he is and look at that see we're already getting xp and drops and stuff for doing nothing because we partied with them yeah we're basically just leeching off of them while also trying to get xp so let's kill the giant slime and basically you just want to farm here until you're level two or three i think it was three there you go hopefully these guys join our party and let's start let's start grinding to level two these little slimes give 10 xp per kill so Oh, another person just joined our party. So we should be getting XP off of them too. Oh, never mind. These slimes give 5 XP. I thought they gave 10. Look at that. One of our friends killed an NPC. We just got a shield. We've now reached level 2 actually. So let's check our skills. Okay, we still don't have any skill points. But when we do have enough skill points, the first skill we're going to get is heal. Because it's really good. You can heal like half your HP in like 2 seconds. And it's going to be very helpful when we fight NPCs. But yeah, we're actually about to hit level 3, and I'm going to show you guys where a chest is actually at the start. Alright, we're now level 3. Let's see if we can get a skill. Yep, we have one skill point, so first we're going to get heal, and we're going to equip it in our first slot. Let me show you what this does. You guys see my HP up here? I'm going to press heal, and look at that. We're back to full HP. The first chest is actually over here. You just go past the waterfall. And it should actually be here, but uh, I guess someone took it recently. Now, by the time you're level 3, you should have gotten some equipment. We actually have not gotten any better weapons yet. And the party system actually has a range limit, so if they're too far away, you won't get any XP. But that guy's close enough, so we're still getting XP off of him. But right now, what you guys want to do is follow the way I've been going straight down the path. Head down this way into the sewers. And this is how I grinded to max level on my main account. But I'm not sure if this is the fastest way, but this is what I did. Let's try to party this guy, Ayame. Let's leave our party right here. Let's try to party him because we're playing with him right now. Okay, he joined our party. Cool. Now we can share XP and stuff. And it'll be a lot easier to grind. And just fight all these NPCs here. They give good HP. Okay, now we need to heal. So just use your healing skill. And also there's a chest in this direction. And we actually got an iron dagger. But there's actually a mini boss in this place. So we're going to go fight it. Let's try to party. Okay, let's party all these people that are fighting the boss. Because we're going to want to share. So Sabbath. Hopefully they'll party with us so we can share XP. His name is Your Mox. But yeah, this boss should be easy with all the people here. Nice. But yeah, what I did on my main was I just kept farming this boss. When he died, I head down, killed the thieves, and they came back, and the boss would respawn. But it respawns in like 20 to 30 seconds, I'm pretty sure. And it's back. Is it dead already? Oh yeah, it's dead already, but we got EXP because as long as you and your party members do enough damage, then it'll share. Let's see what items we got, actually. We got this Iron Dagger. Now... Does 8 physical damage is better than our stick, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're just going to use that iron dagger. And we're also going to equip this Lost Wanderer's Cloak. That'll help us out. And I don't recommend using any regular gems. Well, you could use them when you're first starting on like the weapon that you're using. But when you get legendary weapons, which are like the highest rarity, then you want to start only putting legendary gems on them because any other gems would be a waste. And I think that the quests don't even do anything in this game. Like... NPCs that you see walking around. I don't know if you really get anything from the quests, so I don't even do them. 
And we're now level 5 actually. So we have a decently high level dude who's helping us I guess. So let's see. Do we get any skill points? Not yet. But the next skill we're going to be getting is actually Spatial Flash. It's a really good AoE move that attacks multiple enemies. And does a good amount of damage. So we're going to be getting that next. It's good for grinding once we get to the next area with multiple mobs. Um, just never get this move taunt. When you get to max level, which is 24, you'll have enough to get every single skill except for one of them. So I recommend just not getting taunt because it's not really good. Alright, we level up to level 6 now. Four more levels and we will go to the, the next world or I don't even know what it is, but it's the winter place. But a tip that you guys should know is that you, whenever you leave the server and rejoin, you get spawned at the very start of the place. So I recommend you just equip the most walk speed equipment that you have when you're trying to get to a boss and then just take it off and then put on your health gear when you're fighting the boss because it takes so much time walking to places there's no like mount system or like spawning where you last were system so yeah in this game if you die you don't even lose anything so it's all right if you die you just spawn back in the closest spawn which in this case is right here we're now about to hit level 7 once this boss is dead. There we go. We're le now level 7. Let's check our skills. We have one more skill point that we can add. So we're going to get a Spatial Flash. Let's turn that and equip it in our second slot. This is what the move looks like. Oh yeah, I forgot. It doesn't actually do anything until there's an NPC near you that it attacks. We're going to use the move here show you guys what it looks like. Like that. Oh, we're about to die. Let's heal up. Alright. We haven't gotten any good weapons or clothing yet, actually. All we have is this one armor that's rare. Or is it uncommon? Yeah, uncommon. But hopefully we get better drops soon. If not, we're just going to buy something from the shop, which is in the town. We're about to go to town after we get to level 10. Another iron dagger. I kind of want an axe or like a sword or something. Because personally, I like those more than daggers. Okay, let's open up the chest here. She you guys what it looks like. Oh, we just got an axe. Speaking of it. Let's equip the axe. And head towards the boss again. Sadly, you can't even sell your items in this game. Like You have to delete it from your inventory. Got a steel long sword. Let's see the stats on that. 15 physical damage while our weapon does, let's see, 14. Oh, okay. So the longsword actually does more damage than the axe, so we're just going to use it. We're now four-shotting the thief NPCs if we don't get any criticals, but if we do, then we do double the damage per critical. Nice, we're doing good damage now compared to the stick that we had before. And we're about to hit level 9 very soon. Once we kill this boss, we should be level 9. Nice. And we are level 9. We actually have another skill point. So now we're going to pick... Wait, I'm going to decide after we kill this thief. Alright, so... Honestly, uh, Wide Slash is a pretty good move. Um, Alright, let's just stick with Wide Slash for now. Basically, you spin around like Ninjago. And you just do slashes of attacks while spinning around. Alright, I'll show you guys what it looks like right here. We're gonna press 3. And it, gives, it does good damage actually. Let's use Spatial Flash. Alright. I think we could solo the boss without healing. I don't know, yeah, actually, it's pretty close. But soon we'll be able to solo the boss without healing up. Basically, once you get to max level, your goal is to just grind boss drops and legendaries and. Hopefully you can trade up to get auras if you don't want to spend robux on this game. But you're just collecting legendary items basically. Alright. We are more than halfway through to level 10. A little bit more. They just killed the boss so... Okay. We got two steel weapons from that. Alright. Now we're not level 10. Now let's see what we just got. We actually got a steel greatsword, which has 23 physical damage. We're going to be using that. Okay, we just died. But yeah, the steel greatsword is our highest damaging weapon by far right now. 
Let's kill this mortar right now. See if we can solo it. And then we're going to head to the other world. Alright. Yeah, we can definitely solo this mortar now. And it's dead. Nice. We actually have to defeat the boss of this area before we can go to the winter place. I forgot about that. I'm going to be honest. I don't even remember what the boss looks like. I've only fought him once and then I, I head to the winter place. I don't even know if he has any legendary drops. Okay, it looks like our other friends that we partied are over there now. So if we get closer to them, we might share some XP. Yeah, once you're level 10, you just head to this town. You don't got to talk to any NPCs. They don't do anything yet in this game. Let's check the story here. So they got Steel Longsword and it tells you how much damage they do. So this is trash, basically. 30 damage. Okay, the Scythe seems to do the most damage here, I'm not going to lie. How much does the Scythe cost? 450. Now, do we want that Scythe? Alright, I'm going to say yes. We're just going to have this Scythe, which is a rare. We're going to equip this because we're level 10, we can wear it. We're going to equip it for now, and then we're going to put some gems on it. Some common gems, because why not? This is just a temporary weapon. Oh yeah, to put gems on a, on a weapon, you have to not have that weapon equipped. There we go, now we can just put some gems. Now we want to put physical damage, but we don't seem to have any. Might as well just add some health, because why not, you know what I'm saying? Imbue it. And now if we could equip our scythe, we have more HP. We have 130 HP now. We actually need some armor, like, I mean not armor, we need some clothing. Okay, there's some clothings up here. Okay, zero health. I'm guessing this is the one that has the most health, so we're just going to buy this and wear it for now. Equip. There we go. Now we have 140 HP. And now we're ready to fight the boss of this world, and then we're going to head to the winter place. Let's go through the middle path this time. Down here. This can't be it, is it? <laughs> I have no idea where we are right now. Okay, never mind. I think this is the way right here. Okay, yeah, here it is. Once you see these gates, you'll know you're here. I just went down the middle path. And I went to the path that didn't have a dead end. And we are here. The Demon's Lair. And that is the boss. Okay, I had not even remembered what it looked like. But here it is. Basically, just keep doing as much damage as you can and then heal up later. Alright, we're gonna heal up now. Okay. Oh my gosh, this thing is ranged as far. Um, I'm pretty sure last time I fought this, I had skills that were long range. We didn't pick it this time, but we're just gonna heal up. Alright, let's go fight it now. Closer. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Actually, I don't even remember if you respawn near here, but I think you could just come back. Yeah, just heal up like this. It's easy cheese. And then start attacking it again. Once you get to one tap, you just dip. Oh. And it looks like we have a party member with us this time, so maybe it'll be a little bit easier with him joining us. But yeah, let's go fight this boss again. Hopefully we can dip. Okay, let's heal up. Okay. Heal up. Cool. Exactly. Alright, hopefully we just can keep repeating this and we won't die. Okay, what the heck is that? Oh, he spawns these little... I forgot about those. He spawns these uh, minions of his, but they don't do that much damage compared to the real one. So, that's good. We're gonna kill it now. Heal up. And let's go fight the real boss. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna try to dip. Oh my... Are you serious? Alright, hopefully they kill it and we'll get XP for it because... Alright, there we go. Nice, it counted. Now we unlock the new... Snow place. That was pretty scary. I thought we weren't going to get XP for that since we died. But yeah, if you look in the locations, now we have silent snowfields, so...